Hi folks, so I thought I would take you through four of the daily BMSs and uh, show you how they compare in size and weight, <coughs> cable sizes, uh, lug sizes, all of that sort of thing. Um, it's not very often that you get a chance or an opportunity to actually see them side by side, so let's take you through the detail. So we have uh, four of them. We have the 100 amp Smart BMS, the 150 amp smart BMS, the 200 amp smart BMS, and finally the Beast, the 300 amp smart BMS. All smart BMS, all 4S in this particular case. And so just by glancing at this, you can see the sort of comparative differences. If we uh, move that aside and bring the 100 amp alongside the 300 amp, you can see the absolute vast difference between them. So, um, a much, much bigger, heavier unit, uh, which is just three times more capacity than that, interestingly. So bring this back, <clears throat> let me take you through all of the dimensions on all of these. So uh, 100 amp, um, i spin this around, it's about six and a half, seven centimeters wide, two and a half centimeters high, and about 15 centimeters long. Uh, if you take into account all the screw points, sort of 16 and a half centimeters. Uh, the cables bend quite easily, so you can get them into place quite easily. They're quite short, but uh, you could cut and extend if you wanted to. So these are seven AWG cables, uh, capable of carrying the 100 amps, but obviously quite small and dingy. Uh, it's a very, very light unit. We'll weigh them all shortly. If we move on to the 150, <coughs> Um, much bigger, much heavier for one and a half times the capacity of that. Um, the body is about 10 centimeters wide um, and about 22 centimeters long. Um, bear in mind these uh, only start bending really from about there so if you take that into account you need a space of about 25 centimeters to fit them into uh, and to cope with the bend of these cables. You can of course detach these cables over here and, and replace them with your own if you wanted to. Right so that is the 150 amp. Uh, I said it was 10 wide um, and it's about two centimeters. Interestingly it is uh, thinner than this one. This is two and a half centimeters. This is two centimeters uh, and no cooling fins. All of the others have cooling fins. <coughs> So that's the 150. Uh, we get to my favorite, which is the 200 amp daily BMS. Um, it's about, the body is about uh, 10 centimeters wide. So 10 centimeters there. And the uh, attachments here, these cable attachments make the whole thing about 14, 15 centimeters wide, 14 and a half to be precise. Uh, if you take these into account, uh, it's about three and a half centimeters thick. Um, and in terms of length, if you take into account where it starts bending from, about 25 centimeters. Bear in mind that your uh, balance leads come out of the bottom of all of these anyway. So you've got to take into account uh, some space for the balance lead so it's even longer on this. Uh, I'll show you where we've turned these around though in a moment. Another one. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, as I said, this is my favorite 200 amp is, is the sweet spot for me. Uh, we get to this absolute beast of a BMS, which is a 300 amp. And um, it's, it's much bigger. So I think around about, if you take into account the bend of the cable, around about 30 centimeters or this itself is 26 from end to end. Again, the body is 10 centimeters wide. And if you take into account these cables, you're talking about 14, 15 centimeters wide. Uh, quite thick, so as I recall, about five, six centimeters. So I call it six centimeters, five and a half, six centimeters thick. Um, quite, a, quite a beast of a unit. Um, in terms of the connections, these have a double uh, two AWG cables, so 70 millimeter squared in total. 
Uh, there are eight millimeter lugs on the end of the, each of the two cables. So you, you connect these two together and these two together. This goes onto the battery, obviously. Um, <clears throat> so well capable of carrying 300 amps. Uh, very thick cables, uh, 200 degrees centigrade rated cable. Uh, if we look at uh, this 200 amp, it's got a single cable, same cable as that, but single cable. So one 2AWG cable, which is 35 millimeters and with an eight millimeter lug, a single eight millimeter lug on the end. Uh, if you look at the 150 amp, it's a six AWG cable, so around about 16 mil, um, and a six millimeter lug on the end. Uh, the 100 amp, a seven AWG cable, and a six millimeter lug. Now, <clears throat> let's just uh, discuss the 200 amp briefly. Uh, in this particular one, we have taken these uh, cables off and attached them the other way around. So um, this would normally be like that. So we've turned the cables to come the other way. That means we can actually rest this down on the base of something, have it come over, have the balance leads come up here, and it can take the turn much easier. So. This is how we are going to be using these. So you have the flexibility of undoing these and changing them around if you wanted to. You could do the same on, so for example, this here, although you have your balance leads coming nicely out of the way here, but if you wanted to, you could turn all of these around to come out the other way. In this particular case, it wouldn't serve much of a purpose though, on this particular one, but on this one, it might serve a purpose. Let's look at the weights briefly. We turn that to zero. This is a lovely dinky little thing, this 100 amp, and it weighs in at 430 grams. Lovely lightweight thing, very popular BMS to uh, put into uh, batteries that are like drop-in replacements because it's so small and so dinky and so easy to fit into spaces, it's quite popular. And it's very, uh, there's a lot going for it, you know, it's got uh, Bluetooth and, and a temperature sensor and a bunch of things. So. A uh, really nice little unit, 430 grams. We get to <clears throat> one and a half times that capacity, but at double the size and pretty much double the weight, 866 grams. So much, much heavier. <clears throat> As I said before, no cooling fins. I find that interesting. And has all the connections as well. Um, back to my favorite, the 200 amp. And this one weighs in at one and a half kilograms, the 1507 grams to be precise. Um, <clears throat> so starting to get a bit weighty, but for me, this is, this is the sweet spot. Finally, the absolute beast, the 300 amp, uh, weighs in at 2.7 kilograms. So a rather heavy thing, but um, that's the only one with a cooling fan as well. Uh, haven't actually seen the cooling fan come on, so it must come on only at very, very, very high current draws when it heats up enough. And we'll be running some tests on this one just to see how it copes with that. So there you have it, a uh, range of daily BMSs with their dimensions and, and capacities uh, just for your interest. So hope you enjoyed that. Cheers.